Every relationship between two people needs a helping hand, needs a third person to complete the trinity. Because when you get help with your relationships, it becomes community. broken relationships in my experience like I've had with my parents it's just when sometimes like maybe due to miscommunication or something or the other it's just things aren't the way they're supposed to be right it's mostly because of expectations from other people because you expect other things from people but when they don't fulfill them then there are grudges in the relationship and that leads to broken relationships uh, one was with a guy and one was with in my family with my brother broken relationships are somewhat a stage that every relationship comes comes to where we start lacking trust and confidence on each other it's it's like the point where we stop giving happiness to each other i had friends and i lost them why because you know over time the friendship just wanes away Yeah, of course. Yeah, there is always hope for reconciliation, and we sh we should not always take uh, everything on our ego. We should go and talk first. Yeah, there is always a hope. Obviously, one should never lose hope. And uh, what Jesus Christ or anybody, basically, or any Hindu mythology or any mythology gives us always gives us a message for hope. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, sure, there is because. Most of the time, when relationships break, that's because of some misunderstanding or something like that, or you're not compatible with the other person. But with time, that can heal, that can change. Uh, that depends. Uh, I think if I have to reconcile a relationship, I'll try my best before uh, breaking it. So I don't know how much scope is there for reconciliation after breaking a relationship. But when the tussle is going on, when the contradictions are there, I think in that, in the meantime, you can try your best to. Save it. I think yes, there is. If you try hard enough, there is. There is always hope, but it is not definite whether you would reconcile or not. Uh, we have to talk. We have to share the problems, and we have to look into the matter in order to resolve the issue. Uh, how it could be resolved. We can discuss things with each other and we can know what the problems are so that we can sort them out. I would have tried to sort the things that were not going properly. That's it and we would have taken the relationship further. I think we should always remain connected and uh, we should always consider and respect each other's beliefs as well as uh, what they think. And working through whatever resentment you have accepting what is and moving on. I would just talk out to them, like whatever the problem is, I'll make sure that that's not there anymore. I would do whatever I can to reconcile if I really want to. I think I'll just give some time to the other person, first of all, to make him or her think what went wrong. And I'll myself sit back and think for some time what went wrong. And maybe write a long mail and try to pursue them. If there is a hope, I'll definitely go and talk. I'll try to take up an initiative. I'll uh, try to build up that relationship again. Christmas? Um, for me, Christmas means family. Being together often means presents, eating, all of the good stuff. The thing that we all know about Christmas it is related to Christians and Jesus and what not. But for me, not being a Christian, I still celebrate it and it is a festival of happiness for me. Christmas, I just know that it's uh, to celebrate uh, Jesus Christ's birthday and I don't know anything else. Uh, Christmas is a very beautiful festival and uh, of course the birth of Jesus. And uh, see, Christmas is, is not, you know, fixed to a certain religion. It's a festival of humanity. Christmas, I guess, uh, as we all know, it's the birth anniversary of Jesus Christ. And uh, according to me, it's a very lively festival. 
and I always uh, enjoy Christmas. There's always a good spirit in the atmosphere on that particular day and uh, one should always enjoy that and uh, there's a lot of things in Christmas like puddings, Christmas tree, lights. Christmas is a celebration. It's about spreading happiness. On Christmas you have lights everywhere. It's a nice festival. Everybody is happy. Go out with friends and family and spend a very good quality time. Well, Christmas is like it brings up a feeling of joy. You like enjoy it, and you know I, I really love the feeling of Christmas decorating the Christmas tree and all. Yes. Like uh, the birthday of uh, Jesus, and apart from that, it's celebration, joy everywhere around the world. Let's be friends, friends again. again this Christmas. This Christmas. This Christmas. This Christmas. Let's be friends again 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 this Christmas.